Pastor John Piper's son, Abraham, is making quite the name for himself, becoming a little star there over on TikTok, but apparently it's at the expense of his own faith. Well, I guess I could say now former faith. We're going to get into all the details of it, guys. Off the top, we mentioned I am now on Rumble. Go subscribe there to me as quick as you can, the link down below. That's going to be our backup. We recently got demonetized here on the channel. Lost all of our revenue. We could lose this channel at any point as well. Because of that, we need your help now more than ever to help support our ministry. A couple different ways you could do that. One is through PayPal, the link down below. You could do either a one-time or monthly donation. Also, you could sign up on Patreon for as little as $5 a month. That link down below gets you access to all my bonus content, my podcast where I talk more about sensitive information, as well as the links to the YouTube videos are going up there as well. Because YouTube is not always going to alert you when the new content comes out, Patreon will do that. Plus, just a great way to make sure you don't miss any of my content. I highly recommend it. All that being said, please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and I wear the glasses because I'm blind. Abraham Piper, he is the son of Pastor John Piper, and he once identified himself as an evangelical Christian, no more. In fact, his father, John Piper, even said that he walked away from the faith back when he was 19 years old. Now he's getting quite popular over on social media, especially on TikTok, where last week it was said that he was now up around a million followers on the platform. And before I talk about Abraham, let me just say this. I'm not a big fan of John Piper, his father. I mean, this guy, I've talked about him before in the past. I mean, he has come out and just written uh, just terrible things about President Trump and how, you know, he wouldn't support him in the election and how Christians can't get on this bandwagon with Trump and the whole Christian nationalism thing, and he condemned that. And he got a lot of backlash from a lot of other Christians that were completely against what he had to say here. Um, it, it, this was just, there was a controversy out that apparently had included his name amongst the list of other big name, uh, not just celebrities, but other so-called Christians that were against Trump. Although he came out and denied that he ever gave permission from this group to actually include his name on this. So he embraces a lot of liberal policies and ideology as well. So I'm not a big fan of him. And I can kind of see if his son went astray. Well, you can see where he got it from. But let's get back to Abraham here because, like I said, he's making the name for himself here on TikTok and even includes these little short video segments where he talks about growing up evangelical. Now, you would think for somebody that wanted to walk away from the faith, you just walk away. But no, what do they do? They try to somehow make a living or profit off of their past of being a Christian, and they make fun of it. And although he says, I'm not bashing Christianity, it's evangelicalism that I'm bashing. And he defines it as a, as a snot-nosed snot little cousin of Catholicism and that he's ashamed that he memorized the entire Bible as he was growing up during his Christian education now he just makes fun of it left and right, even went so far as to say that the Bible encourages people to really not have children. <laughs> I mean, just we'll just go in and make up everything we want at this point because that's what so many people do. Forget the part where it says to be fruitful and multiply, uh, but no, no, we're not going to talk about that. He's even all of a sudden gotten big fans into certain atheist groups that have now come to be huge fans of Abraham Piper, everything that he's doing. They claim that he is speaking the truth now. And Abraham is so excited about this newfound popularity. But you know what? There's another verse in the Bible that, you know, I know Abraham, he memorized. And maybe he still knows or he just doesn't want to talk about this one where it talks about what does it profit a man to gain the whole world but to lose his entire soul? Because this is what Abraham is in danger of doing here. You know, at one point, if he was walking with the Lord, he is now willingly chosen that he no longer wants to live the life of a Christian. He wants to make fun of Christianity. Now, he says evangelicalism, but let's just face it. That's what he's doing. He's making fun of Christians here. He doesn't like his upbringing. He wants nothing to do with God. And one day he's going to have to stand before God under judgment for that. So he can attribute the success on TikTok and get popular that way and get all these new friends and his, and he can, you know, buddy up to the atheist. Where's that going to get you on the day of judgment? <laughs> Nowhere good. But is it worth his eternity? Does he really think deep down that it's worth his eternity? 
But let's hope that he can repent and truly come back to God before it's too late. Now, I'm willing to hear from you guys. What do you think about Abraham Piper here? Are you a fan of his? Have you even heard of this guy before? Maybe you watch some of his stuff on TikTok. You can let me know down below in the comment section. But as part of our ministry here, what we are trying to do is the opposite of what Abraham's trying to do. We are trying to get as many people to Jesus Christ as we can because we know we are living in the last days. Time is running out. Christ is coming back soon. And this is your chance now. If you've never received Christ, here's how you do it. You start by recognizing that you yourself are a sinner. We all are. But God sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for the sins of all this world. Now, we have to repent of that sin. And repent doesn't mean just to say you're sorry from. You have to actually turn from that sin, whether that's a lifestyle, a habit, whatever it is in your life that's counter to what the word of God says. You ask Jesus to forgive you. He will wipe that sin away. The Bible says he won't even remember it anymore. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision you will ever make than the one you make to give your life to Christ. I pray you make that decision today. Guys, again, let me know your thoughts on Abraham Piper, even his father, Pastor John Piper, down below in the comment section. Don't forget our links to donate to the ministry are down below as well. It is a great blessing to us, along with the link to my Rumble page. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.